So this whole um, topic is called diffraction and interference. When there is only one slit, this is known as a single slit, so there's some kind of opening, and the water wave comes, or it could be a light wave again, and then it goes through that opening, and it starts to spread, and then if we have some kind of screen here, you're gonna get a center maximum, then first maximum, and like that, okay? So this is a diffraction of light. Now, uh, the, the theory tells us that the wider the opening, the narrower this pattern will be. In other words, if I have uh, opening such as, let's say it's a huge opening, right? Well, th there is very little diffraction then. It's just simply like a car going through a door, a person running through a door, anything like that. You're not really gonna have a lot of diffraction. So what's gonna happen is this pattern will squeeze, squeeze to the middle. The other intensities will not be visible as well. So you're gonna have a center maximum, and then maybe slightly like that. It's gonna be focused in the center. If I make it more narrow, 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 then it's gonna start opening up. The, the pattern is gonna be more visible. So that's what I wanna show you today, is that if I make go from narrow to wide, the pattern is gonna narrow. Uh, the other thing, too, is if I have If the light source goes and there is there's two slits, the other one was a single slit. This one is two slits. Well, what are you going to have? Well, you're essentially going to have two, two patterns taking place. One is the diffraction of light through each slit, and the other one is they're going to interfere together. Okay. Which pattern is going to be narrower? You know, notice the distance between the center of this and the center of that. We can call that, let's say, D. The distance of the single slit, we can call it A. Which one is smaller? Is A smaller or D? Well, in this case, you can see A is smaller. So the pattern due to the A will be wider and the pattern due to the D will be narrower. So uh, due to the A, we'll have a pattern like this. We'll have, okay? So this is known as diffraction. Diffraction. And then due to the D, the interference of the light with the other one the pattern will be narrower, so within that you'll see something like this. And then it'll die and go down. So you'll see bright, 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 dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, but getting darker, darker, darker until it's completely dark. Then bright, bright, brighter, 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 dark, and then it goes darker, darker, and then it goes completely dark. So you basically have one pattern overlapping with the other. Okay, so let's erase this now. We're gonna project onto the blackboard. You, if you come over here, you'll see the, we have a laser beam here, and then we have a multi-slit pattern here. We can, on this side, we have a single slit, very, very narrow, a little wider, a little wider, a little wider, a little wider. And then over here, we have different kinds of slits. We have three or four slits. We have, we have multiple slits. And then over here, we have double slits. So today, I want to focus in on the, the double slit pattern, show you that it has both interference and diffraction over here. And then I want to show you that if we go from a thinner slit to a wider, what happens to the pattern. So we'll start over here, the thinnest single slit possible on this system, the thinnest, thinnest single slit. So we'll turn on the, the laser beam. You can see the laser beam is going through the thinnest single slit here. Turn off the lights. You can see here, 
this is the center maximum very bright and it's very thick then we have dark dark okay this is the first maximum on this side first maximum on this side then another dark then second maximum dark third maximum dark like that and then here you have center max first max on this other side dark second max dark sec third max dark so on so the, we're seeing a diffraction pattern and this is the widest one that is possible now we're going to go to a thicker slit okay we're gonna go down so if you come over here you'll see i'm gonna be using the middle one of all them So there's one, two, three, four, there's five of them here. We'll use the middle one. This is gonna be a little wider. The slit is wider. So we, if you go over here, you can still see uh, the, the patterns, but it's much narrower. Center max is right here. Right away, you got the first dark one then first max dark, second max dark, and then you see more of them. You can count literally how many there are. There's just more of them visible in the same tight space. So definitely we have shown that that is uh, true. You can focus in on that. Okay, now I uh, slid it over and now it's gonna go through this double slit right here. There's two slits very close together and then each of them has a certain little opening. So you should be seeing both interference and diffraction patterns. Let's turn off the light. Okay, so you could see here, this whole thing is the first diffraction pattern, this whole thing. But within that, there is center max, then first, second, third, that's the interference pattern okay which is um narrower so you're seeing a lot of interference patterns and then when you get to this point and this point right here that's the f the first minimum of the diffraction then you get the this is the center the second diffraction maximum right here center diffraction maximum and then third diffraction maximum and so on so within the diffraction patterns there are a lot of interference patterns so in the lab, we would do uh, very detailed measurements of that. Let's see if we could get one more of that. Okay. This one's really, really uh, visible too. You could see the diffraction pattern is this one, one big thing. This is the center max of the diffraction pattern. And then here's the center of the interference. And then you could see the second, the first, uh, this would be the center. This would be first, second, third, fourth, then center, first, second, third, fourth on the other side for the interference, and then the first diffraction minimum, and then so on. So you can see a pattern within a pattern. So now you have seen both interference and diffraction, and uh, you now know what this means better. Okay, thank you.